Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be painting these beautiful purple roses. We are in the month of June and roses are the flower of the month of June. So I decided to create this painting. I am a self-taught artist and all the techniques that I share with you in this channel are the ones that I've learned along the way and work well for me. All the projects and patterns that I share with you are my own creations and designs. If you would like to see how I painted these beautiful purple roses, stay with me and let's paint together. Today I'm working on 9 by 12 watercolor paper and as you can see I have already done my background. If you watch my videos you already know how I create this type of background. If you're new to my channel, I'm going to attach a link on the description box below with the video on how I create this soft watercolory effect backgrounds. I did the background and then I transfer my pattern. I went around and painted with some white, the areas of the roses, the leaves, and the parts of the bee that are going to be yellow. That's because I want my colors to be very bright and crisp. For my roses, I'm gonna use an angle brush. I have vintage white on the toe and purple at the heel. And of course, a little bit of blending gel. When I do paintings with roses, I always like to start with my roses. I do it in a way that works for me. With this method, my roses always look good. And my outer circle, I'm going to divide it in four. I'm gonna put a little dot. So it's divided in four sections because I want my petals on the outer part of the rose to be larger and wider than the center petals. I'm going to press my brush and create my first petal. I'm going to do my second petal. I'm going to do my third petal out in here. And the fourth outer petal. And my four outer petals are done. For the inner circle, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to divide it so I have six or seven petals. The petals inside the rows are always smaller and there's more of them and I'm going to do them the same way. center of my rose I follow the line that my rose is coming in and I do a small petal right in here right underneath I do another petal another small petal and to close my rose bud I do one going this way and that creates the center of my rose. To finish my rose, I add additional petals just by pressing my brush on the side of the little bud and going across. And I do the same on the other side. And again, And my first rose is finished. I'm gonna do this little rose bud and my brush is loaded the same way. And I'm gonna press it at the bottom of the rose bud. And I'm just gonna slide my brush upwards. And I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to close my rose bud on the other side, doing the same thing. 
I'm gonna go ahead and paint the rest of my roses off camera. My roses are all done. I'm going to start painting the leaves now. I have on my brush teal at the toe and yellow at the heel and a little bit of blending gel. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to paint half of the leaf here. For the other side of the leaf now, I have the yellow at the toe and the green at the heel. So it's the opposite of what I did first. And this is gonna give my leaf a little more dimension and dynamics. So I'm gonna do some of them this way. I have painted all of my large leaves that way using the opposite color on each side of the leaf just to create more dimension to the leaves. Now for all the smaller leaves, I'm just going to use yellow at the toe and teal at the heel of the brush. And I'm simply going to press my brush, wiggle it a little bit, and bring it up. I'm going to start painting the vines. With my angle brush, I'm going to start creating the sepals of the rosebuds. I'm just going to press my brush and slide. You can intensify a little bit the inside of the roses. Just very loose watery paint. Just a little touch if you feel your roses need that. I'm going to use a round brush to paint the bee. This is the same bee I've done on other tutorials. So you know how I paint my bee. For the dark areas of the bee, I'm going to use this color from the Town Square palette. I just did a review on this acrylic set. I'm gonna attach a link below if you want to see the review. I really like this color, but I also mispronounced it. I called it rough iron, but it's really wrought iron. I never heard that word before, but I looked it up and it, it means worked on. So sorry if I mispronounced it in my review video. For the wings, I'm using my angled brush with some vintage white on the toe and some wrought iron on the heel. And my purple roses are finished. The last thing I did was just splatter a little bit of purple paint around my roses. It, I like to finish my florals that way. I put it in this inexpensive frame from the dollar store and it still looks really beautiful. When you paint on any kind of paper, it's very easy to frame it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.